Back on U.S. soil, freed hikers Josh Vital and Shane Bauer came out swinging at Iran, calling themselves political pawns and Iran's officials liars for calling them spies. They do not deserve undue credit for ending what they had no right and no justification to start in the first place. The only reason we have been held hostage is because we are American. And they disclosed how they found out their two-year ordeal was over. Last Wednesday in prison, they were inexplicably given street clothes, fingerprinted, and taken to meet an envoy from Oman who told them... So he looked at us and he said, let's go home. Within hours, they ran off a plane in Oman and into the arms of their families, including the mother of Josh Fatal. What was that like for you? Oh, we were hooting and hollering and we were waving our scarves and we just couldn't wait till they got down to us. I couldn't have asked for anything better. In prison, spending months in isolation with no diplomatic visits and being told lies about their families, they said they were haunted by cries from other prisoners. We heard the screams of other prisoners being beaten and there was nothing we could do to help them. And what was it like to hear the beatings and the screams? Not being able to help another human being, being completely um, impotent and unable to do anything to, to ease their suffering was something that I will never forget and will always be with me. And when they complained to their prison guards about their treatment. The guards would immediately remind us of comparable conditions at Guantanamo Bay. We do not believe that such human rights violations on the part of our government justify what has been done to us. Josh and Shane wouldn't take reporter questions asking for privacy for now. And as for Shane and Sarah's engagement we've heard so much about. You know, I'd rather not focus on it. I'd rather not focus on it. Yeah, everyone knows we're engaged. All right. have you, and have you not set a date yet? No. We want more than anything to begin our lives anew and with a new appreciation for the sweet taste of freedom. They thank supporters for that freedom, but left the room without revealing any more details about their two-year ordeal. Susan Candiotti, CNN, New York.